Hi, I'm Angelique Duffield from Bright Spark Media. Have you ever been stuck for ideas for your blog posts or for Facebook or Twitter or any of your social networks? I'm here to give you some quick tips on how you can repurpose content and use it in a bunch of different places really quickly. Here's how. I was just in the middle of typing an email in response to one of my former clients, Sarah at Aries Accounting, and I was just talking about some ideas to share some tax tips. Now she's planning on putting them on Facebook because she's gotten a really good response there. And I suggested that she actually does something else instead to brainstorm a bunch of ideas and make a list, make them into bullet points and put them on your blog post. Then what you can do is take say 10 of the best tips, uh, make them into a little graphic and just put a number on it, put a little bit of um, a blurb and you can actually share it really easily on Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest and then link back to the blog post because people are probably not going to see all of your posts in the newsfeed anyway. So it's really, really easy to do. Um, I've seen a, really, a few really good examples of doing this and it helps you to repurpose and reuse your content. So if you want some graphic ideas, uh, just go to canva.com and if you need some pictures to use for it, they've got pictures there. You can also try freedigitalphotos.net or something like canstockphoto.com is another good place. So if you've never seen Canva, this is it. It's still in beta testing at the moment, but it is such a great tool. It's really easy for people who are not graphically inclined. So they provide all these great examples for you. These are a mixture of some that I've created and some of theirs. And uh, in less than five minutes, I should be able to pop one of these uh, Facebook graphics for you. So I've just chosen the square social media size. It resizes everything for you from a Facebook cover photo to square graphics to hover cards and all sorts of things. So it starts with a blank canvas right here, but I can choose any one of these different options for layouts. And let's say I want to do just a quick tip and it's going to be um, Facebook tips. So I know that they have Facebook. I can just look for it in here. So there are a bunch of different Facebook icons. Um, so let's say I want it to be a tax tip. Uh, let me go back to layouts first and find something that'd be suitable for just a really quick tip. Perfect. So there's a beach picture. Let's say Let's get rid of that shape in the background and and let's say the tax tip is something like you know, have an accountant do your taxes so you can spend more time doing something fun. And let's get rid of these here. You can just click them and delete them. You can see there's all different types of text. And let's change the text to black. Select it. Let's say I want to put a banner across the top. Uh, it's just under text and you'll see there's lots of different types of options. There we go. So there's tax tip number one done. So you can share it on Twitter or Facebook. You can save it if you want or you can download it. The other cool thing is you can create a duplicate. Now let's say um, I've got a whole series of, uh, of tax tips that have to do with you know saving some time um, or saving money or whatever you want to put and you can just have the same background for all of those. 
And let's say this one we're going to have tax tip number two. And it's uh, file your taxes on time. There we go. Something appropriate. Just make the font a little bit smaller on this one. And one more thing, don't forget to put your website or your Facebook page link. So we'll just do that with text over here. And you can choose something that kind of blends in a little bit that doesn't stand out a ton, but you definitely want people to to notice it, so let's pick a. Uh, see how that one looks. There we go. Pick a color that matches, and we're done. So that was just a really quick way of creating a bunch of blog posts and graphics for your social networks using Canva. So if you're ever stuck for ideas, just think about questions that you can answer for your customers. Um, in this case, it was how to save time and money doing your taxes. That's perfect for an accountant or a financial advisor or something like that. But for any industry, it's really easy to brainstorm some ideas, make a list, pop it onto your blog, and then break it out into a few different graphics that you can share every day on Facebook or Twitter. So this is Angelique Duffield from Bright Spark Media. Thanks for tuning in.